या अकाउंटिंग कॉन्सेप्ट प्रिंसिपल्स एंड कन्वेंशंस दैट्स गोन बी आर चैप्टर नंबर टू दिस चैप्टर अगेन हैज अ वेटेज बिटवीन फोर टू एट मार्क्स यूनिट टू इन चैप्टर वन अकाउंटिंग कॉन्सेप्ट प्रिंसिपल्स एंड कन्वेंशंस नाउ इन रियल लाइफ does it matter whether you call it as concept convention or principle the reality is no we use interchangeably in real life but whereas for theoretical purpose because there's an examination for you to write one definition we have to ask so therefore you have a question this is an application based question not a theory question so you need to understand how it gets applied this chapter how is it applied in real life to and this chapter if you understand it thoroughly your accounting becomes a lot more easier why accounting standards are there why all of this is all base is this chapter itself that's why i will go little slow with this chapter because later what i'll do is whenever we are explaining any concept i'll be telling you guys because of going concern concept because of disclosure concept because of this concept your mind should say okay this what i've learned there so we'll go a little slow till you get comfortable with that concept you can keep asking doubts now first one let me start off with accounting concept i'll ask you a question i want you guys to tell me what all have you understood because of it and i want you to interpret the way required rama went to temple who went to temple okay what are the things you can infer from this like rama is religious Rama is a boy. Rama is Hindu. What more? There exists a temple. Then, but did I ever say that Rama could have gone to temple to steal the shoes? Right? How do you know that he went to temple to worship? Rama and Rama. Rama can be a boy. Rama can be a girl. Both are spelled the same way. how did you make just the moment i told rama went to temple you assumed that rama is a hindu or a man he went to temple because is because we have certain assumptions about this characters right the moment we think about rama we have an assumption it's a naya mythological character temple means he would have been so religious that's why he went for worship correct this is how we are trying to understand this concepts part of it see for you have to understand why did we come up with concept principles and conventions these are meant for the guys who are using it see the moment i told you it's an asset what does it mean let's say i say i have an asset what does it mean you will say that you are owning it because you did something in the past because we learned the definition now that's your asset because you you have purchased it that's why it's an asset will i call her property my asset will i call your property as my asset with the moment i say it's my asset it should belong to me right we have certain notion beyond this this is what accounting concepts are about accounting concepts are basic assumptions are uh, depending on uh, basic assumptions on which financial statements are prepared who is having this basic assumptions are the users based on the assumptions they have we are preparing our financial statements so that he all interprets everything in the same manner clear so write down the first one accounting concepts 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 are assumptions on the basis of which on the basis of which financial statements of whom business entity are prepared are you guys clear so we these assumptions so remember the trauma example you will know whatever concepts are concepts are what assumptions assumptions for what assumptions for what for preparing what financial statements are you clear 
now comes the second one accounting principles accounting what principles what are principles see when i say a principles the first part is it is a body of doctrines what is it body of doctrines that is body of rules and regulations right body of doctrines now see here what it says commonly associated with commonly associated with the theory and procedure of accounting so what does this rules and regulation talk about it talks about what it not only tells you about the th theory of accounting but also the explanation part of it clear so acts as what theory and explanation of accounting what does it do it serves as an explanation it serves as an explanation of current practices and acts as a guide for selection of conventions or procedures where alternatives exist i want you guys to see this definition a bit few things which are concerning me first one it is called what body of doctrines that is it is got to do with rules and regulations guys i am telling you the key terms so that you remember first one it is got to do with what body of doctrines second one it is associated with theory and procedure of accounting it is not only giving you rules and regulations it's also telling you how to do it and whenever you have confusion it will act as what guide whenever there are alternatives which are existing it will act as a guide for you are you clear so few points remember in the exam even if you can relate few three four words don't mug up the definition just write your own words it is if i had to write it i'll write like this accounting principles is concerned with body of doctrines which acts which gives me a theory and practice of accounting and also gives me an explanation wherever alternative exist it acts as a guide write in your own words you will still get your four marks or two marks or one mark whatever it is you don't have to mug up and because when you start mugging up you will start forgetting it rather try remembering the keywords and make up for it are you fine till you right last definition for the day so you have to recap and after that you leave accounting conventions okay when you were born were you able to write in right hand left hand everything no na have you seen as a kid like this you are drawing in every hand whatever you get but over a period you have shifted into right hand or left hand now can you do the same thing in both hands the your right hand handwriting is equal to left hand handwriting why no practice, practice? convenient if i throw something down let's say you are a right hand person you would always first pick up in your right hand over a left hand convenience right why did this convenience came into picture because over a period you are practicing it convention is got to do with convenience 
why convenience see here guys remember this from my accounting principles from accounting principles i choose certain things and i start practicing it because see here accounting principle says wherever there are alternatives exist i will act as a guide so it is telling accounting principles has different rules regulations and all i am not going to follow all follow all the rules if i tell you guys study in the morning let's say she studies only in the night she will say as long as i study morning or night who cares i will study what is his headache as long as i meet my objectives right so you choose out of rules and regulations what is more convenient for you when you choose what is convenient for you and you adopt it that becomes your convention so we say accounting convention emerge out of what accounting practices write down the definition accounting conventions emerge out of accounting practices in the bracket in the bracket write down accounting principles adopted by the enterprise adopted by various enterprise sorry adopted by various enterprise over a period of time are you clear are you clear so done for the day